In this podcast, I'm going to break down who I think is the A-side going into the Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor boxing match. So first of all, I'm going to start off with Floyd. We already know Floyd, he already has a very well-established promotional company. He already has the money behind him. He's the highest paid athlete of all time. And I think his undefeated record is a big draw as well. He's got the who's who of who he defeated as well. I want to go into Conor then as well. I had a quick look at their, um, I think this plays a massive part in the whole debate of who's the A-side. I looked at their Instagram and Twitter and just compared them very bri- very briefly. On Instagram, Conor has 15.1 million followers. Not bad. Floyd got 16 million. Not bad. I didn't expect Conor to have that much, to be honest with you. Conor's last post on Instagram got 1.2 million likes. Floyd's last post, 190,000. These were pictures, not videos. Twitter followers. Connor, 485 million. Floyd, understandably, 7.34 million. Connor's last tweet got 700,000 likes. Floyd's last tweet, 1.9 thousand. Connor brought 20 plus thousand people to the press conferences in the last four or five days in each one in LA, Toronto, New York and London and the vast majority of the crowd were supporting him as well the vast if not all also from this press tour it's easy to see on YouTube on SoundCloud Facebook Twitter every post with Connor's face his name any clickbait headline, anything with him attached to it has gotten far more views and attention than Floyd's. Conor has come from the underground of MMA and it's obvious that he's, he's got a far bigger draw than Floyd. Floyd's two year absence has had a negative impact on his pulling power. The Pacquiao fight didn't help much either. But his 21 year career and his victories over the who's who will always stop people when he enters a boxing ring. Whether you love him or hate him or perhaps even love to hate him. You'll always stop. And perhaps even pay to watch him fight again. Conor McGregor is an enigma. He is something MMA has never seen before. And boxing hasn't seen since Ali. He single handedly turned the UFC. Into the empire it is today. Contributing massively. To it's 4 billion dollar price tag. Which it recently sold for. I like to think of Conor in boxing terms. He can mix three of perhaps maybe the greatest names of all time in boxing. And that's what Conor is today. Conor has the ferocity of Tyson, the charisma of Ali and the flash of Mayweather himself. And if you think Floyd was an influence on Conor growing up, you're very wrong. There's a lot of negativity surrounding this fight. With the UFC now plateauing since Conor took time off and boxing is on a slow decline. I think it's the perfect time for Conor versus Floyd. Both sports could potentially benefit from the, the unprecedented attention this spectacle is getting. But it all depends on the mindset of the people over each organisation. Think about this. 20,000 people came to the press conference in London. A press conference. After the conference, the boxing commentators complained about the language and antics of both men. I felt they needed to embrace this more. They needed to connect the dots between the 20,000 fans for a press conference and these antics. They needed to connect the dots between the 20,000 fans and the entertainment value of why they showed up. They came to a press conference, 20,000, and they sat there and tried to pick holes in it and said, well, it was different, so we don't like that. We want to go back to normal. At the end of the day, both men will face each other in the ring under Queensberry rules. So why not have some fun along the way? Floyd is in need of money and there's no one on earth that could have generated this much attention than the notorious one. But I feel this fight is mainly about Conor. It's MMA versus boxing. It's an underdog story. But I feel Conor needs to be given more respect. MMA as a whole needs to be given more respect. Obviously boxers will have more skill since it's a single discipline that they train. Most of the boxing analysts 
talk about it as if Floyd is stepping into the ring with Stephen Hawking. Connor has a chance. A very, very, very big chance. To finally answer the question, who is the A-side? Well, in terms of the A-side, it's Floyd. But, I'll leave you with this. Which one of the two fighters would be worse off if Connor pulled out the fight? Think about that. <laughs>